My name is Eva Maria Steten. I'm the occupational therapy assistant at Coleman's. How are you today? I am fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you uh, Miss Dunn? Yes, I'm Mrs. Dunn, and uh, this is Tommy right here. Hello, Tommy. How are you today? Would you like to be called? Uh, He said he's okay. Oh. It just it just takes him a little while to warm up. That's I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. Would you like to be call me to call you Thomas or Tommy? Tommy or Thomas? Tommy. Okay. Nice to meet you, Tommy. So um, the purpose today is uh, that we will um, start preparing a document called uh, occupational profile for Thomas. And what that means in practice is that we, we learn more about Thomas, his history, uh, things he has used to do, what he likes to do, his interests, values, and also some of the challenges maybe you, you have at the moment. Mm -hmm. And since Thomas is still young, you will be, of course, his life is uh, surrounded by the family. So yeah. feel, feel free to to um, also like engage yourself in these conversations uh, from the family point of view. Oh, okay, sounds great. And so this uh, occupational profile, this is the building block for Thomas intervention plan. And it's something as we start uh, seeing Thomas more often or Tommy more often, uh, that's something which will, it's like a living document which will be Gradually, we are adding new information as we get to know him better. Um, mm -hmm. And then later to this meeting, we can also save some time to go over the, the assessment. If you have any questions about it, uh, I can clarify clarify it for you. Okay, that sounds, that sounds great actually. Yes, um, as a part of the occupational uh, established occupational therapy uh, telehealth code this uh, session will be recorded and the recording is considered confidential so uh, but I will need your verbal uh, consent that you are comfortable to do this today with Tommy okay I consent to doing this today okay thank you so also recognizing that um, like work, working virtually um, and child needing to interact with the face on the screen, that, that is challenging to any young child. Do you have any yeah. suggestions how, um, how we can do this more comfortable and pleasant for Tommy today? Um, I feel like since this is the first time he's meeting you, it might take just a little bit, maybe like maybe one more session to warm up. Um, I was thinking that today maybe I could take the lead just because I feel like he's not going to be able to verbalize exactly what what he wants to just because of that withdrawal and that shyness that he has going on. Um, but other than that, I feel like he will get to open up as we progress with the sessions. Um, maybe later on he will tell us like how he wants to do this but for now i think we could just go with it just because i I've, I've never done this before but virtually before it's new so i don't really know how to do this either yes so and that's absolutely fine and if he wants to continue replying to you like he just did that's 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 very fine too so we okay we okay. follow uh, we follow his lead on this and and see See what's the best way way to continue then doing these interviews in the future or or these meetings. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Sounds so, good. do you have any questions at this point, or should we get started? Um, no, I don't have any questions. I think we can go ahead and get started. Okay. So, uh, first, uh, I would like to know more about uh, the reasons why where you are. Um, looking for occupational therapy services. I have reviewed uh, Tommy's uh, pediatric uh, records and, and also mm -hmm. his uh, psychiatric records. So I basically, I know uh, some of yeah. about his medical history, uh, but it's always helpful for us to, 
to hear also uh, directly from from the caregiver how things are going and and what what your concerns are and what have taken you to this place to to look for occupational therapy mm, well i guess for starters one of my main concerns right now is the way he's behaving at school uh, and not just at school but with with us at home as well. Um, I don't know if you read, but he's been having like increased aggression outbursts and it's just, I, I honestly, it's become a, it's becoming a little worrying for me. Um, I don't want him to get in trouble. I don't want him to hurt others at school to the point where some kids, some kid ends up in the hospital, you know, mm -hmm. or even his siblings, uh, his sisters don't really like to interact with him just because it's it's just a really bad situation at home with the aggression um and i don't think it's getting any better i know there's a lot more other things that i would hope you guys can address but that's one of my main concerns mm -hmm. like him being able to i don't know in a way learn how to deal with those feelings instead of it turning into this huge aggression outburst mm -hmm. Yes, I, I read also that he has had some occupational therapy before. Uh, mm -hmm. During that time, um, was the behavior issue already then, or this is something new, new that has now uh, appeared? Um, I feel like it's new um, in a way that it's gotten a little bit worse, mm -hmm. per se. Um, he used to have some he used to have some moments where he had difficulty with his emotions, but now it's just gotten to the point where he will physically hurt others. Um, and that's just something that recently started. So that's why, that's kind of why we're here now. Okay. So if I hear you correctly, your, your main concern is um, his uh, behavior at like, uh, more like aggressive behavior at home and school. And yes. Um, is that that's already impacting your re relationships in the family or? I mean, um, my husband is the one that gets along with him a little mm -hmm. bit better. He tends to be a little bit more aggressive towards me and my two daughters. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to school, it's, I'm not really sure. It's just, it's just really random at school. like. Mm -hmm. The, the times that he has these um these moments i don't i don't really know what triggers it but i've been hearing reports about him not getting along with uh both girls and boys so i don't know if that has something to do with it but yeah okay um overall um a apart from his um autism um is his health is health wise he's doing well yeah, uh, he's been ha he's been doing pretty well. He got a, a physical checkup from other doctors, and the areas that he let them um, examine, everything was pretty normal. Okay. So if we now, uh, Tommy, think about uh, things you like to do, is there something uh, specific you like to do? Do you like to uh, play, or do you like to check the weather? Would you like to tell her? Can show her. Okay. So it's raining. yes, it's raining. Is it raining there where you are? Right yeah, now? it was raining. Okay. Yeah. So you can see from the window. It's very sunshine here where I am. Do you like oh. <laughs> do you like to watch weather? Yeah, that's that's basically all he does. He he really likes anything to do with the weather. Everything has to be weather, weather, weather. Do you know uh, what it what it is that is so fun about the weather? What is it? What what do you like about it? He said it always changes. Oh, that's true. That makes it interesting. I agree with you. <laughs> Okay, so uh, do you think you are good at uh, observing the weather? Yeah. yeah. 
Are there some other fields uh, you as a mother you think um, what her interests are? Um, he really likes to run and do a lot of a lot of things that tire you out, that would tire <laughs> us out. He really likes the running, jumping, and all of that. Uh, there's times when he stumbles a little bit, but he just keeps doing that. So that's another thing that he really likes to do, just physical activity. Okay. Yes, I think that's uh, very common in, in kids in his age. <laughs> yeah. As well. So if we think about Tommy's uh, strengths, uh, what would you say? And what would Tommy say about about his strengths? What do you think your strengths are? He says he doesn't really know, so I'm going to answer for him. Okay. Um, there's there's a lot of times when he's really compassionate. Um, mm -hmm. There's like at home, for example, he's sometimes very helpful. Uh, for example, like with his chores, he's able to do all of them, sometimes without reminders. Um, and sometimes he's really consistent, which I think is really helpful with everything that he does at home. Um, there's also some days where he's a very good listener. Okay. 